Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome! My name is Monica, and today it took me a lot longer than I kind of thought it would, but I put a lot of thought into it, and I'm going to be recreating the Harry Potter and Ulta collab palettes. Now, if you missed this announcement, I talked about it in a BWOW like about a month ago at this point, but um, Ulta came out with their house line, a um, official collaboration with Harry Potter, and they made a nine pan palette for each house. So, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. And the palettes were a bit underwhelming, to say the least. I'll throw a quick, you know, pictures of what the palettes look like up here. But overall, they were just kind of meh. And I thought they could have done so much more with the palettes. I asked you guys if you wanted to see me recreate these palettes. And it was an overwhelming yes, everyone wanted to see it. Now, usually when I do like a recreation or like a fantasy palette, I normally just mock up the palettes in like Photoshop or paint, more than often paint. And I do it all like online. I wanted to challenge myself this time. So what I did is I literally looked through all of my single shadows and all of my depotable palettes and I put together actual little mini palettes for each house. They're not 100% perfect because I did have a limited amount of shades at my disposal but I'm actually pretty happy with how each one came out. So I used a bunch of single shadows from my collection, mainly like Davina, some Luxy shadows, a bunch of ColourPop. I also brought in some of my other ColourPop palettes because these are super easy to depot. Um, I had some MAC single shadows that I brought in. I of course have my other Davina, this is technically a palette so I keep them all together, but my Davina bundle right here that I brought in. And then I brought in my Natasha Denona palettes because these are super easy to just pop the shades out and use for a project like this. So we're gonna switch now to a top-down top down view so I can show you each palette. And I'm gonna show you each palette and we're gonna go through each shade by name so you guys can see exactly which company or which brand each shade came, came from, explain why and how I put together each palette, and then we're gonna swatch everything out. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I hope you guys like it. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so now digging into the actual palettes that I made, I basically pulled all the single shadows that I own in my collection, but then I also pulled random shadows from a couple of different places. So these are my ColourPop palettes. These are super easy to depot. So I've got the Sailor Moon ColourPop palette and the Yes Please palette that I pulled some shades from. I also had a custom made MAC palette with just some MAC singles, so I pulled a couple of shades from there. This is technically um, a palette, but basically just a bunch of singles, and this is from Divina. This is the Moonwell Bundle, which was a collab with Angelica Nyquist. Pulled some shades from there, and then I pulled shades from my Natasha Nona palettes because these are also super easy to depot, and I love a bunch of these shades. So we've got the Leela palette I pulled a shade from, the Sunset palette I pulled a shade from, probably could have pulled more but I didn't want to do too much Natasha Denona and then the Metropolis I pulled a shade from so let's see let's start yeah let's start with this one so these are just some nice they're not the brand Z palette I forgot um, they're Altair, and they're really nice palettes. They've got a big mirror in them. I've got these off of Amazon for pretty cheap. If I can find them, I'll link them in the description box. But these are the palettes, quote-unquote, that I created for Gryffindor and for Slytherin. Now, I really wanted Slytherin to work, and I have a decent amount of green shadows, but like the color story that I had in my head, I really wanted it to be more silver and like bottle green. I was finding that the undertones of a lot of my greens didn't fit what I was kind of envisioning for a Slytherin palette. So these are the shades that I had and I tried to do just like the Ulta palettes, um, three by three, just like that. So let's go through each shade and swatch them. I only found five for my little Slytherin palette. This first one I believe is a Davina shade and this is just a really nice green tinted light shade and I thought this would be perfect for highlighting the inner corner or um, all over the lid. It's just a very very pretty shade. Let me scooch this and we can swatch over here. This next shade, uh, this is uh, from MAC, that's Kelly Green and then this one's also from MAC, this is New Crop. And then I see the first shade name, let me just dig my finger into it, this is Delirium from Davina. I'll just pat that out. 
I've noticed MAC shadows really don't swatch the best, especially that Kelly Green, but that's like a perfect like transition shade and it had like the right undertone that I was looking for. Like those three shades together would make a beautiful green look. So those are the top three. Down here I have a Luxie shadow and this is the shade Rage. And it's something I really wanted to bring in like a darker color. It's got a kind of a purpley undertone, but I thought this would look so pretty to deepen up green looks because if you layer like a green and then you put this on top of it, let me see if I can give you a nice little layer effect. So we've got that Kelly green, not Kelly green, the dark green, and then we layer that on top. You've got a nice like deep shade and I was thinking of putting in a black, just a black shade like this, but I didn't want to include just a black. This is a, a shimmer shade and it's not 100% black, it's more of a gray with a weird kind of pink tone to it. So I thought it would match this better. And last but not least, this is from the Natasha Denona, I think Metropolis, it's from one of my Natasha Denona palettes and it's just a nice shimmering, it's more of like a satin shade. And so this is what I was picturing in a Slytherin palette. And I really couldn't find anything else in my collection that would match well with this. If anything, maybe I can make this like, you know, one of those Natasha Denona five pan palettes where they just go across. Like, see, that'd be really pretty, like a five pan palette just like that. But that's really all I found in my collection that looked good together, that matched kind of the vision that I had for my Slytherin palette. Now, the Gryffindor palette that I have here is like th literally the only full palette I was able to make because I had a lot of oranges and reds. And if anything, I might change out. I was thinking of putting in a brighter gold in here, but I really liked this color story. So we have here um, a traditional nut, three by three. And we've got a mixture of Davina shades. Let me scoot these over so I could s spread out the shades and bring you some shade names. So starting up on the top row, I love these matte shades. They're they look beautiful together. They're a stunning formula. These are all from Davina. So this is the shade Duna, which is the nice light shade over there. We have the shade Laramie. And then we have the shade Runa. Now I believe I have a couple. I have quite a lot of Davina singles. The Davino shadows are Davino. The Davina shadows are spectacular. Like the formula is amazing. I love them. And I believe I got all of these in a set. I think it was the dark mattes set, but they're stunning. And let me give you a good swatch, but I thought these would be perfect as just mattes in a Gryffindor palette. Like, look at that. These are stunning. Yeah, that just to me, that just looks like a Gryffindor scarf right there. <laughs> they're stunning. So I thought n there's no better way to have the top row of the mattes for this, because that's exactly what I was picturing. Now for the second row, we've got a combination here. This is the ColourPop uh, Saltwater. I try to do shimmer versions of each shade. I didn't get them perfect, um, but that's the ColourPop shade. This is a look-see, this is One Night Stand. And then this is from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So let me swatch these. And those, again, look at that. And I just, I really wanted a play of texture for this one give a mixture because it's not just shimmers oh look at see look at this it might look a little repetitive but if you go in you see these all have different finishes and that's kind of what i thought would be nice for this kind of palette since i had the shades and they were so similar just doing them in different finishes kind of like those nyx palettes the the ones where you have multiple finishes of each color and i just thought this looked stunning it looks like a gorgeous fall palette or a Gryffindor palette. Now to round it out for the bottom row, I was really hoping to find a nice bright gold. None of the golds that I had really meshed, well in my opinion, didn't mesh well with the palette that I was kind of trying to create. So I've got a couple of shades down here that I thought would look nice. This is a um, look-see shadow in the shade Bougie. This is a Natasha Denona shadow. And then this is from Colourpop. Yes, and this is the shade Let's Do It. It's just their matte black shade. And while in the other palettes, actually, I don't know if I put a matte palette. Did I put a matte black in another one? No, this is the only one where I put a matte black because I feel like it, it matches this color story well. 
and I know if I were going to be reaching for these shades, I would like to have a nice matte black. And I'll swatch these over on the side. So it's not the best matte black from ColourPop, but I do think it rounds out. Let's do a little flat. It rounds out the palette. And I do like these shimmers. If anything, I feel like I wish I had a brighter gold, but I feel like all the golds that I have, you'll see them in the Hufflepuff palette, but they're really yellow and I really wanted like an orange tinted gold and I didn't have that exact kind of shade in my palette. But this is actually so pretty, like this palette is something that I would, I don't know if I would buy, <laughs> but now that I'm here and I made it, I, I do like this palette. I think it looks nice, it's just, it screams fall to me. So that's what we have for the first two palettes, Slytherin and a Gryffindor. And last but not least, we have my Hufflepuff and my Ravenclaw palette. This, I think, I think I mainly just used kind of a bundle that I got from Davina. Um, they had, remember when Tarte came out with their Basic Betch palette? That was a joke about their, the joke about a joke that they had. This looks very pretty. This I would use. <laughs> so let's start from the bottom. So these are some dark blue shadows. This is from Davina and this is Bluster. And then I believe this is ColourPop. Yes, this is ColourPop and this is Backstage. And these blues are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. They've got slightly different undertones here, but they, like to me, that looks like Ravenclaw. Next, we have another Divina shimmer, and this is the shade Mist. And then this matte is another color pop, and this is the shade Formation. And these are more, I don't know, bottle blue. I'm not the best at describing colors, but these are more light blue, kind of turquoisey. But I thought, once you swatch them out and put them together, these all can work really well together. And I think they look really nice. And then you can also, again, layer. So I feel like if we had this dark matte, or the medium, and then we swatch the dark blue shimmer on top, you just get a really pretty... So you can like mix and match the shades and I do think they look really pretty together. Last but not least, we have the bright shimmers that I think I'm the most excited about because they look stunning. This is a ColourPop shade Now and Zen, and then this one is Divina and Cupid. And these are just some beautiful bright shades. This is a bright light blue, and then a bright white with just a slightly cool kind of undertone to it. And these round this out perfectly. Look at those shades. gorgeous like this could be a great inner corner all over the lid this I mean just these shades these are inspiring like this again I feel like I was hoping to do it on the three by three palette but I feel like this packaged would be a stunning palette for Ravenclaw it would really represent them the only thing I feel like I was kind of missing is I kind of wish this light white I wish I had a very very cold silver shade I think that would have looked perfect but this is what I was able to find in my collection. I, I'm pretty happy with this. I might leave the shades because these were all singles to begin with. I think I'll leave them like this so I could go back and use them like that. And of course, for our Hufflepuff friends, I have a slightly unfinished palette, but I had fun going through my collection and essentially like finding my favorite golds and yellows. And I mentioned before the Gryffindor palette, I was looking for golds, but like they didn't have the right undertone. So most of them ended up in here. So let's go through these shades. This first shade is a Natasha Denona shade from I believe the Metropolis palette, but it's just a beautiful gold. Just, that is stunning. So of course I had to include that. This next row, this is a Davina shade in the shade Darren. And then these two, I believe these are both ColourPop shadows. And they're smaller because I popped them out of their palette. So one of them is from the Yes Please. And then, actually these are both from Yes Please. This shadow, I believe, is from the Sailor Moon collection. Anyway, it's the same ColourPop formula and I saw these shades and I thought after swatching them together, see like this gold? This wouldn't have worked for Gryffindor, I don't think, because it looks kind of like macaroni and cheesy. But like these shadows look so nice. So let's 
do the mats. I'm not the best at swatching, but that looks pretty together. I kind of wish this yellow had swatched a little bit better, but it's ColourPop, so I know it works really well and performs great on the eye. So we've got a nice little mainly yellow story so far. And then the top row, I like to have like the light shimmers. I, You could do an all matte palette for any of these, but I love shimmers. So I feel like just for me to have fun, um, I want to include shimmers. So these all look like small ColourPop shades. Yeah, so they're either from that Sailor Moon palette or the Yes Please palette. And let's just give them a nice little swatch. I love ColourPop shimmers. They are just stunning and so affordable. So let's just swatch them. And the great thing is that like in the pans, all these shades kind of look similar in the pan, but once you swatch them out and start using them, they're, they're so dynamic. They're so different. And I thought this is just such a great palette, especially for those who just love yellows. I have so much fun playing with yellow shadows and yellow palettes. And so I think I had probably the most fun actually pulling these shades out because they're not shades I normally would have looked for specifically until I was like, okay, Hufflepuff. Actually, this one might benefit from also having a matte black, but I kind of wanted to keep it yellow at that point. Let me grab the matte black and we'll just see how it looks. That, acts, that could work. I feel like that and maybe I need a nice little, a bright shimmer right there, but I think it was actually fairly balanced before. It's not an even number. I thought about removing one of the shades to make it kind of like the Ravenclaw one, but I, I really like all these shades and I think they work well together and they all serve a purpose. So I didn't want to, you know, knock one out just for the sake of having <laughs> a balanced one. Maybe it would be something like, I don't know, it could be a funky palette design where maybe it's not linear. Maybe it's like a hopscotch kind of thing where we have that and then we have these and then we have one more and then we have these. Head cannon accepted. That's what the palette would look like. <laughs> there. And if you did it sideways like this, that's actually kind of cute. Looks like a Christmas tree. So anyway, that's my head cannoned Hufflepuff. Ooh, I don't know. I, I don't like that sideways. I like it like this. That's my head cannon Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw palettes. All right, so that is everything. This was definitely a much more challenging video because typically when I do like create my own palettes I tended to just use Photoshop and actually like create things online. Um, this was a bit more challenging. It really made me go through all of my palettes. I wasn't pulling out just singles. I was pulling out ColourPop palettes. I was putting out Natasha Denona palettes to really dig in and try to get a story. And I had fun and I think these actually came out really nice. So honestly they came out a lot better than I thought they would. So let me know down below if you like this kind of way better than just like the Photoshop way or if you want to see a Photoshop one too. And if you liked this, let me know if there's any other, I don't know, inspirations you want me to take from because I could definitely try to create more palettes out of my collection and single shadows. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.